Today, filming's taking place for a Victorian farm Christmas special. I'm hoping to meet one of the members of the cast and have a go at some Victorian farming myself. Ruth is busy in the farm kitchen recording a scene, but I've caught up with Peter Ginn just outside. So what's going on behind us today? I can, can hear voices and see people dressed in, in period costume. We've been invited back to Acton Scott to do some Christmas specials. And Ruth is just dyeing some ribbons. In fact, I've, I've got an example oh, here. Yeah. Uh, it's right. And she's tying them around the walnuts. Is this yeah, supposed I've... to be a present? I, th I think this is a treat, or mm -hmm. anything. And, of course, decorative. And I imagine back in, uh, in Victorian times, a walnut would have been a real, a real treat. Yes, I mean, Victoria spanned quite a, like a long period. I think in the, the later part of the Victorian period, it's becoming more and more common to have these exotic foods. Mm -hmm. But yes, I think uh, it is associated with Christmas because it is quite a treat. Now, a show like The Victorian Farm is incredibly popular. What, what is it, do you think, that people love about seeing the past? I think, um, I mean, it's been a pleasure to engage with the past and be able to try and relay that to people. And I think, I think people got a lot out of that. And it's, it's one thing to tell people about it. It's another thing to actually do it, find out about it and say, wow, that was hard. And what other sort of skills have you kind of been practising or learning or, or, or doing here? I'd have to say the sort of animal husbandry. I mean, I, I really got involved with the pigs. We've had a chance to work with the shire horses, uh, get them out, get the carts out. And it's, it's a real skill. And it's, it's all these skills are, are being lost, these craft skills but we've, we've just been so privileged to be able to do this. And, I mean, we're, we're very lucky to... It's a very unique year. We don't really see the hardships as much as they would have done, but I think we do see a lot of the joys. <laughs> to do a spot of Victorian farming myself. OK, so... A little stool in the bucket. Yes. I are you, you going to give this a go? Well, yeah, it's actually been about ten years since I last <laughs> did this. And I had to do it every day. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's a hungry... Oh, it's a hungry calf. Here we go. I've got a... Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh. They can smell the milk. They can. Well, she, she doesn't look like she needs a lot of encouragement. No rest on a Victorian farm. I, I, I'm trying to rack my brains to remember how to do it. Two-handed, it's that, it's just <laughs> the, the slight... But there is something incredibly satisfying. I mean, what do you get out of it being down here doing this? Um, I mean, it's... I, I suppose I, I've come from a really sort of ignorant point of view. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've grown up in the country, but I've never really grown up in the country. So this has been an opportunity for me to learn old skills, um, get sort of chatted up by, by cows. By calves. <laughs> and um, just, just to get sort of an insight into that way of life. The Victorian farm series often featured dramatic changes in farming techniques as the Industrial Revolution took hold and labour-intensive manual work was replaced by machinery. I was hoping it would work. Why is it so fast? Whoosh! <laughs> Everyone assumes it was a very simple, idealistic way lifestyle. of life. Yeah. And I think compared to the city, it might have been, but it was still a lot of hard work. And um, well, whenever we look back, we rarely feature the hardships. It's amazing to see the contrast between this simple process of hand milking, just a stool in a bucket, and the high-tech, high-yield dairy farms of today. And have you, have you done the milking down here before? Is this something part of your job on the farm? I've never milked a cow at Acton Scott. Okay. I've, I've done it once. We, I have but, to pass uh, over the seat. <laughs> I'm sure you're brilliant at everything else here. I'm sure you'll be able to. Hands warm. But she's so, uh, <laughs> she's so full of milk. You don't really need to milk her. She's just coming out. Yes. So it's just sort of... Yeah, exactly. You just pull, you kind of massage it down. Look at that, you've got the, you've got the double tech, you see? I, I was you're watching you. You're a natural. Watching you and learning. You're, you're a natural. So and it is, everything, uh, my understanding here is everything just takes that much longer, doesn't it, without the kind of modern yeah, it's, tools you, we have. Because you don't have modern conveniences and you don't have, uh, well, like ready meals, electricity, anything like that. You've just got to plan your day a bit better. Mm -hmm. Be a bit more aware of... <laughs> oh, am I being a bit rough? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> more gentle, I think, is uh, what she's saying. <laughs> OK, we'll be, we'll be... I didn't get that. Uh, she either <laughs> that really response. likes you or you're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not gentle enough. <laughs> P. 
Peter and I may not be expert dairy maids, but at least we've got enough milk to feed the farm pigs. 